This is VOA News. Reporting by remote, I'm David Bird. Scientists who studied a big COVID-19 outbreak in Massachusetts have uncovered a dispiriting setback in the United States' fight against the virus. AP's Sagra Magani has details. About three quarters of the more than 900 cases on Cape Cod were in fully vaccinated people, and they carried about the same amount of virus as the unvaccinated. That could upend thinking about how the virus spreads, since vaccinated people who previously got infected were thought to have low levels of virus, which... They were unlikely to pass on. The research was key in the CDC recommending vaccinated Americans resume wearing masks indoors in places where the Delta variant's fueling surges. The authors say that should be expanded to the entire country. At the White House, spokeswoman Corrine Jean-Pierre says that'll be up to the CDC. And the takeaway for now... We need more people to get vaccinated. That's the answer. Sagar Magani, Washington. The response has been mixed to President Biden's new push to get Americans vaccinated. AP's Ed Donahue explains. There have been lotteries and prize drawings, and the president says keep it up. With incentives and mandates... We can make a huge difference and save a lot of lives. In New York City, the incentive is $100 for any resident who gets a first dose of a coronavirus vaccine at a city-run site. The $100 got Jay Vogno's attention. Well, I was waiting for it. I knew they were going to do it, so I just waited. So... I'm not worried about it. I shouldn't worry about much. The governor of South Dakota, Christy Nome, says the vaccine message has reached a saturation level where people start to tune you out. She doesn't plan to offer incentives. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds said no as well. Less than half of people in both states are fully vaccinated. I'm Ed Donahue. Visit voanews.com for more. This is VOA News. Japan has expanded a coronavirus state of emergency to four more areas in addition to Tokyo, following data on high infection rates. AP's Charles de Ledesma reports. Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has declared an emergency in three regions near Tokyo, as well as in the western city of Osaka, effective Monday until August 31. Emergency measures already in place in Tokyo and the southern island of Okinawa will be extended until the end of August, after the Olympics and well into the Paralympics, which start on August 24. Already in place restrictions have become less effective, with some Japanese defying the measures as they become tired of restrictive life. I'm Charles de Ledesma. The United Nations says its compound in Herat, Afghanistan was attacked Friday with rocket-propelled grenades and gunfire, killing an Afghan police guard and wounding other officers. Deborah Lyons, the head of the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan, called the attack deplorable. A UN statement from the Secretary General reiterated that such attacks against its personnel and facilities are prohibited under international law and may amount to war crimes. The United States also condemned the attack. The Taliban said in a statement that UN personnel could have been caught in a crossfire between its fighters and government forces, but the Unama compound in Herat was not under any threat. Intense fighting around the city has been ongoing since late Wednesday. Israel's foreign minister is blaming Iran for an attack on a tanker that left two of its crew members, a Briton and a Romanian, dead. Foreign Minister Yair Lapid said in a statement Friday that Iranian terrorism was responsible for the attack Thursday. There was no immediate reaction by Iran to the Israeli accusation. London-based Zodiac said on its website the attack was suspected piracy, adding that it was still under investigation. Zodiac said the ship was sailing under the control of its crew and on power to a safe location with a U.S. naval escort. Former President Donald Trump urged senior Justice Department officials to declare the results of the 2020 election corrupt in a December phone call, according to handwritten notes from one of the participants in the conversation. Trump said at one point to then-acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen, just say the election was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the R congressman. The notes of the December 27th call released Friday by the House Oversight Committee underscore the lengths to which Trump went to try to overturn the results of the election and to elicit the support of senior government officials in that effort. Reporting by remote, I'm David Byrd, VOA News.